Got a tidbit, uh-huh. misfit, but gifted, screwed up with a drill bit. So what up? If I nobody to chill with, at least I got it. <laughs> and, and I got it. Recording in progress. <laughs> We're here with Dule chilling T Bone. What? So sorry. Hey, hey. <laughs> All right. So this is so exciting. You guys had this EP coming out, right? Yep. I'm so excited about this. The Chilled Bone. Yeah. Chilled oh. Bone, man. Dulé Chill and T-Bone. At yes. it again. Yes, That's yes, it. Yes. I'm so excited. This album is, like, awesome. It is awesome. Like, it is magic. You know, I was listening to it, and I was like, holy crap. This is great. <laughs> like, I can't wait to share this out with everyone. Like and yet, I know when you sent Thank me that you. message with the um with the whole collection tea and you're like here pick whatever you want like I can't choose because they're all freaking brilliant <laughs> they're all brilliant from start to finish absolutely brilliant well thank you you know uh, Dulé's style makes it really easy for me to write and to come up with concepts because I look for those different sounds inside of the beats and. Uh, I got tired of just doing regular trap beats and stuff like that. And Dulé could still bring a nice hard hit with his bass, but in the same breath, it's like his beats are painting a story, whatever his story is. What you got, Dulé? Why don't you tell us a little (laughs) bit about the concept of your beat making? Uh, Concept of my beat making in general uh, usually starts out with a good strain of cannabis. And uh, yeah. from there, it uh, depends on what is in my surroundings at that moment. So usually I'll have something like, I'll have the TV on, make, not like I'm watching TV. I just like to have the sound so it sounds like people are in the room with me. And then, but I'll pick up on whatever I'm hearing. And uh, that's just usually what comes to the beats is something, I don't know, just triggers me. I'm like, oh, this is going to sound really good this way because this and and I just throw stuff together and hope that it sounds good. Well, so far, so good, man. <laughs> Keep that shit coming. Because that's, that, that, yeah, that's what inspired me. It, it's the same way with writing. It's like I basically am just taking what's happened in my life and trying to hit it with an Edgar Allan Poe feel. Like, I want to hit it with, like, that poetic side, not just regular, hey, I got money or, hey, I've done drugs. Or, or, hey, I, uh, I do all these things. It's like, no, I want you to hear the story behind it. So what I'll do is I'll sit there and as I'm reminiscing on all these life events, it's normally based on an emotion that I'm feeling at that moment, at that time. So uh, if I'm feeling sad or something or if, I, or if I just found out there's a loss in the family, then the next song you may hear from me is going to be something real deep real personal but then again if you know i just got done wrestling with my kids and you know i got five cups of coffee in me well you're about to hear some some hyped up come on let's get crunk you know (laughs) writing style so grab your cape yeah Yeah, grab your cape man so uh angie do you want to get a get a roll on this what we got going what's gonna be the first one Well, we can go ahead and I know you only have a limited time. So what we'll do Mm -hmm. is I'm going to ask you about the pieces and I'll put the pieces in later. So that way we can make sure that we get all about these songs, all about your creations and all about both y'all's art, because (laughs) uh, you guys definitely inspire me. um, And as well as others, you know, Dulé, your beats have inspired so many to write and to come (laughs) up with creations. You know, you may just think that something in the background that you hear, but the creations that you come out with, it just drives people to say, I have to throw down on this. Like, this is such a beautiful background painting Right. You know, and you've got the clouds in there already and you've got the green grass and somebody comes in and they're painting their little swing sets and, <laughs> you know, just making your masterpiece come to life, you know, which you may have just started with, you know, something going off in the background. But your creations that come out of that have definitely inspired others. Oh, and so. I appreciate that as well as everyone that uses any of my beats. I always love hearing what they come up with. 
Yes. And I know you, you've collaborated with T-Bone, you've collaborated yeah. with Lauren Sinek. Many you times. Know, and, and many <laughs> others. So yeah. you're definitely an inspiration, you know, to all of us artists. Oh, um, yes. thank you. So, yes. Definitely. So, you guys have to tell me about Neva Drop Slop. <laughs> okay. So, so it's T Bone's never trying broken. to get me tongue twisted. <laughs> well, you know, in, in the hood, we throw A's where it should be ERs. So, yes. I mean, that's just how it is down south. We say never, there, stuff like that. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so, so it's called Never Drop Slop. Dule, how, how did you come up with the beat for that, man? Because that was like a hard hitting club it's banger, good. if you will. Yeah. The beat for Never Drop Slop actually happened. Uh, there's a chicken joint right uh, around the corner from where I live. And I'm yeah. good friends with the guy who owns it. So I go in there and I'll play him songs like beats that I make and everything. And uh, I was telling him about T-Bone one day and he was from Texas. And he's like, oh, man, does, does he sound like Paul Wall? Does he use stuff like that? And I was like, uh he, he's a little more conscious in the way that he raps, but that got me thinking. I was like, oh, man, we need to get like a dirty sounding song with those real high synths and everything going. And uh, that that's what came out. I was thinking like dirty South Club scene. Yeah. Nice. Now yes, I have to yeah. ask, who was your inspirations like growing up? Oh, my inspirations yes. growing up? Oh, man. Uh most of my inspirations uh, prior to hip hop were uh, people like Nina Simone, uh, Marvin Gaye, people like that. Um, I grew up listening to older music and then I started getting into like punk rock when I was younger and uh, hip hop. And then pretty much from there, I would listen to anything. So like the world has so much different music to offer that I don't like to stick to just one certain type. You just gave me goosebumps. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> that is beautiful. <laughs> oh, I think, think y'all know, know who it is. Too late, chill, the tea gone. When it come to the game, only got a tidbit huh. Misfit, but gifted, screwed up with a drill bit Sobered up, yep. and found nobody to chill nah. with At least I found a beautiful wife to build with hey. Do better than war, someone to help me overcome yeah. Left me for dead and punch drunk in the summer crumbs oh. Never been a bum, won't say I'm dumb dumb never, never. Saved all your puns the way I'm saving these funds Gotta be careful, get checked quick if we slip in mm -hmm. Why I do my best to keep it my IV a pimpin' oh, Please keep your distance, no we in the pandemic huh. We just a vacate to a world that people feel tripping. So promise I will never drop slop like D hop Don't expect me to be something I am not Ain't got a lot, better give it all you got Tell the truth, it's up to you to make it pop Promise I will never drop slop like D hop Shout it from the hilltop to the treetop Don't expect me to be something I am not Will never drop slop and make it pop 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 On the note, while I'm on the go, don't let your boat sink Follow your Dream stack tall as y'all mean Every day make it pop like by the foul bean Make a few heads ring if you step in the ring Do your thing the thing with your way your hips swing Life can make you drained if you stay the same Untamed, unchained, brain filled with cane Back in the day feet past many strange terrains But that's fine, like wine over time I age With a whole lot of grace from his ways I'm safe On a paper chase, no time to wait Make haste if you raving for days and days Never been a dog so no tail to chase and no tail to tail. Look how the boy prevail. Cut the brakes, hit the gas. What's the pace and the break? Get that first place and put a smile on that face. So promise I will never drop slop like D hop. Don't expect me to be something I am not. Ain't got a lot, better give it all you got. Tell the truth, it's up to you to make it pop. Promise I will never drop slop like D hop. Shout it from the hilltop to the treetop. Don't expect me to be something I am not. Will never drop slop. It may give up, pop, 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 awesome. Okay, and then T Bone, can you tell me where you came up with the lyrics for Never Drop Slop? Okay, yeah. So the lyrics for Never Drop Slop um, is and, actually, it's funny. And actually, the, can, I, can I ask real quick? Did you guys know, like, you never knew where the background came from, like his idea for creating? No, I basically, what I do is I go through and I listen to Dule Chill's beat. And I look at it like this. If I could spit a bar to it within the first 20 seconds, 
then I'm ready to write to it. And it's as simple as that. Now, he's got a lot of amazing beats, but there are very distinct ones that stood out from my style of writing and what I wanted to talk about, which is why uh, I did what I did. But see, what never drops lot, that actually wasn't going to be on the EP, but I was like, you know what, Dulé? Uh, there was a song I had did, Gold Mines, with Knowledge Tree and Da Vinci, and I wanted that to be on the mixtape, but the recording of everybody was just so rough that when I mixed it, I was very displeased with it, and I was like, you know what? If this is something that we're going to be offering to actually sell or to stream, you know, to multiple platforms, I want the best quality possible. And uh, so I asked Dulé to give me another beat so that way I could have another song. And then when he sent me that one, I was like, oh, <laughs> man, like this is it. So the inspiration for Never Drop Slop is um, it, and it's no disrespect to any other artist. It's just me letting you know, personally, anytime you go on my page, you're never going to hear Slop. You're always going to hear me giving you 100 percent. Uh, behind every instrumental, no matter who the producer is, no matter what the genre is, whether it's Latin, whether it's reggae, I'm always going to do my best to deliver the full extent of my artistry. So with the intro, Never Drop Slop, uh, first of all, the D-Hop, that's a reference to DeAndre Hopkins. He was our wide receiver for the Houston Texans. He's now with the Arizona Cardinals, but he was with us for eight years and he went through 10 different quarterbacks who most of them threw very terrible, but yet somehow he always caught that damn ball. He always caught the ball, no matter how bad the pass was, no matter how overthrown. It's like he extended his arm 10 feet and still caught the damn ball. So I was like, you know what? This guy never dropped slop. So I was like, you know what? I promise I will never drop slop like D hop. So uh, that's where I got the inspiration for the chorus. But I wanted it to be because it was kind of that, like he uh, Dulé said, it's a dirty South kind of club banger. And I was like, you know what? I don't want to just rap about drugs. I don't want to just rap about crap. I was like, you know what? I want to uplift the people. Uh, when you hear my verse, I, I, I want to tell you that, hey, man, you could do it. But hey, and, and while you're doing it, still be true to yourself. You know, that's why I do my best to keep it Maya Via pimping. I'm talking about Rocky Maya Via, The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, you know? <laughs> Like, I'm like, look, I'm doing my best to keep it my via pimping, but please keep your distance. No, we in a pandemic. And Dulé Chill delivers a vacation on the band lab. So with him delivering this vacation, this, this whole new world you just get away to, I said, we're just a vacay to a world of people field tripping. So it's like, hey, man, the wordplay on it is crazy, but I still try to keep it with a positive flow and a positive vibe. So that's never drops off. I love it. I love it. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. amazing. It's magic how those two came together. Thank you. Yes. How about Cape on Deck? Go ahead, Dulé. Tell us about um, Cape on Deck. Beat, man. Cape on Deck was, uh, let's see. If you picture your best sci-fi fantasy movie that has a theme in it, that's basically what I wanted this to be. I'm an was, alien. <laughs> yeah, like I wanted it just to be explorative of anything unusual. And uh, it came out perfect, I thought. And then when T-Bone put the lyrics on it, it just made it amazing. It did. The first thing I thought was daddy mode. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. So y'all go on ahead and y'all jam that real quick. Step out the casa, super swag, super fab, no dabs in the rush, throw the cab on the hunt. Two wheels parked in the front, just a front, never front, cash on delivery, pull up. Took a step back, spot getting hot, plot for the guap, you ain't about to rock a knock, tick tock, don't stop. Hold the mind, I said bad. Pull out the calculator, gotta check that. Couple pennies shy, might have to sweat that. Lot of mouths to feed, and depending on that. Hey, no yo. drug dealer, more like what? a mental healer. No chin chiller, don't even get cold in the winter. Oh, yeah. But I got the cape on, tempo I deliver. Oh, Man, I got the boom boom, call me chicka chicka. Oh, Coming in hot, wild, chill, making sizzle, just trying to make a dough flow, Mississippi River. Oh, you know, T Bone got 
his cape on you know T-Bone got his cape on you know T-Bone got his cape on you know T-Bone got his cape on day Super Sway For real though Watch as I go up, up, and away Damsel in distress, baby, I'm here to protect uh-huh. You will show much neglect, I put that ass on my chest Yeah, my swag at his best, didn't have to finesse Swooped in so quick, light blew up your dress I know, move too fast, should I take it slow? Been around the block, baby, that's all I know Saved a couple packs, blew a couple racks Never saved a rat, killed a couple rats Try to be super, cause I grew up like super Got the chance to advance, and I had to scoop it You know you got a deal, baby, got you a tofa A beautiful peach is in a world full of coopers So let me do what I do, take care of your boo Might not have much, but always be true Since we're being honest, may not be a hero One thing, two things for show though I ain't no zero you know T-Bone got his cape on Come on. You know T-Bone got his cape Fly, on you yeah, you know T-Bone yeah. got yeah. his cape on you, you know T-Bone on. got his cape on deck Super Swag, let it up Watch as I go up, up, and away so now, on the lyric side of Cape on Deck, it's funny because the approach that I took to it definitely was along the lines of what Dulé Chill was bringing. So Dulé, you wanted a sci-fi kind of vibe to it. I was actually leaning towards the ghetto superhero, right? <laughs> like the guy who lives in the hood, but it's like he he – he always shows up on time. He's always going to deliver what he's got at his best. And then the second verse is dedicated to my wife because we both come from a really crazy background. So I was like, damsel in distress, baby, I'm here to protect. You were showing much neglect. I put the S on my chest. So it's like, you know, I wanted to come in and be like, I'm the ghetto superhero who's broke in the hood. But <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like I still scoop you up and I still got the woman in my dream. So. You know, no matter what happens, no matter what adversity or troubles we go through, you know, I'm just letting those around me all the way to my wife, even knowing, don't fear, T-Bone's got his cape on deck, you know? And so <laughs> that, that's the idea behind cape on deck, at least from my lyrical perspective. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And you and your wife have such a beautiful relationship and marriage. Like you, you can, you can feel it, you know? We blessed. Yes. <laughs> Amen. How about mind blown? Oh, mind blown. And From... I have to ask, Dule, what do you mix with? Are you using cakewalk or are you like, um, how do you make your beads? I actually, I use band lab when I can, but it doesn't work on my computer that well because it takes up a lot of space. Yeah. Um, and then I use another free one called Soundtrap. Okay. And I just use that DAW online and, uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm gonna have I to wish check I that had out. More that's awesome. Expensive equipment, but for now, we're just we're using the free sites. <laughs> yes. Well, Cakewalk's free. If you're on Bam Lab, you can get Cakewalk for free. Oh, right on. So, Cakewalk is like it's Bam Lab, but it's on your PC, and it allows you to do a lot more mixing, mastering. Um, if you have, I know in the past, T-Bone has had um, some audio where, you know, somebody sings and you hear all the background noise. Mm-hmm. Um, Band Lab offers different, you know, tools to go ahead and take all of that out. Oh, no so, way. So, yes. Yeah. So Wicked. definitely check it out. It is on Band Lab. It is offered free from Band Lab. That's awesome. Um, so that might be... <laughs> yes, and and it's you can make all of your mixes there. You can put your dolls there, like out middies, everything. It's amazing. Awesome. You can hook your yeah. equipment up to it. You know, so if you have somebody, um, there are some amazing guitarists and and things out there on the lab. If somebody decides they're going to throw some wicked guitar over some of your beats, <laughs> you know, they can hook right their guitar right up to their system and be able to chord right there. That's so, awesome. Definitely definitely check that out as well. Yes. Thank you. (laughs) All right. So now that you've blown my mind, (laughs) tell me about Mind Blown. So Mind Blown, I think, ended up being perfect in the sense of 
T-Bone had the same feeling about Mind Blown that I had creating it. So basically, I uh, and I remember this to this day, I had, it's a strain called Confidential Cheese. And I smoked that, sat at my computer, and I was like, I'm going to make something tonight that just for me to listen to, like on a loop, because I was in that mood. Yes. And I started going through different samples and messing with them. And I just came up with that. It's pretty simple and basic. But it was, I don't know, it caught me for a while. I listened to it for like a half an hour and then I published it. And not long after that, Tim found it and did his thing with it and just blew it out of the park. Thank you. He, he mind blown you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, for real. I think I just want to chill. Do lay style. Swag on it, you know? T-Bone. Even on a rainy day, I can't complain. Progress and elevate, I meditate and medicate. No matter which way, we'll do anyway. Blunt slit, drift away, we can go to space if we use our brains. A be mundane on a Monday, the lightest wave. What I'm on, kind of really floating on the Milky Way, a chocolate board. The whole world in my boulevard. Another hit, and I'm supercharged. Thoughts conjure from a line, wide up the nostrils every time. Feeling fine when nothing's fine. Our pupils don't look. In my eyes, what am I supposed to say tonight? I, I guess I lost the fight Damn. looking for red and blue lights, Woo-hoo. but not a coin sight. Where in the world did my mind just go? Really though. Running in place, going bananas, looking for answers. Nobody stand up, what is commanded? Nah, I planned it, don't comprehend it. Read it again before you panic and finish and damn it. I'm going fishing, out camping, whatever takes away the bullshit in my head, they cramming. These are just my psychedelic thoughts. Where in the world did my mind just go? I really don't know. Where in the world did my mind just go? I guess I'm in my zone. What? We took a look, we saw a nook. Hey. On his head, he had a hook. Hey. On his hook, he had a book. Hey. On his book was how to cook. Oh. Killing it with this Dr. Seuss. Oh. Why don't we just call it truth? Hey. You don't like my point of view. Oh. Do you really watch the news? Oh. Streets bloody as my shoes. Gotta play some blues. So. And I ain't talking clues. Cracks bringing back the news. Dang. Gotta combat a truth with the truth. What it do, what it don't. Leave me alone, I'm getting stoned. Twilight zone, memory phone, what I'm laying on. Nice. But I can't chill for long. Same thing. You be on, this ain't where what? I belong Oh, you out here clapping chrome I'd rather play the xylophone Brownies got me drowsy, only coffee in this styrofoam Where in the world did my mind just go? You know, it's funny because on my end, that's kind of where the lyrics came from, too um, I had made a batch of edibles uh, I can't remember if it was Super Haze or The Lifter but y'all know I stay more on the CBD side of things, but the edibles that I had made, um, they still have levels of THC in them. And I make my stuff real potent, y'all. Like two cookies, <laughs> you're good for about five or six hours. So when are you coming to Pennsylvania? Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, no, real talk. Julie well, says, know, I need some down in Florida too. <laughs> yeah, look, you know, uh, I actually uh, started the edibles thing because I had gotten into a bad car wreck um, and I didn't want to take their painkillers. So I was smoking the hemp flower because I had to pass random drug tests and uh, it just wasn't doing enough for me. And my wife was like, she's an actual chef from the Cordon Bleu. So she was like, look, baby, why don't you just make some edibles? And I'm like, well, how the hell do I do that? <laughs> so, you know, she she showed me a process that when we looked on YouTube, nobody makes their butter the way that we make it. The extraction process we do is completely different. So, and this is over a hundred different videos that I watched. And so, so anyway, you were mind blown. I, I was like, real <laughs> talk. So, so it does fit in with the song. So like I was, I definitely took it up to the next level and basically perfected it. And I got it to a point to where I could make, you know, a dozen cookies and it last me two weeks because I'd only need like two a day. When I had just started feeling the effects of this strain was when I hopped on Band Lab and I seen Dulé Chills beat. Now, you know, I hadn't worked with Dulé yet. This was, this was my first actual track with him and he had it forkable. 
And I seen it had inspired one project. So I said, <laughs> let me go. I said, let me go listen to this project. And I was so pissed. I was so pissed when I heard the project. I was like, this guy ruined a good beat. I said, this, I said, you know what? This guy right here deserves somebody to really get on there and just spit it raw. And I and I still wanted to hit it from a conscious level. So that's why you have points where, like, when I say uh, my thoughts are conjured from the line, white up the nostrils every time, feeling fine when nothing's fine. Pupils don't look in my eyes. What I'm saying is that, like, I had experiences back in the past where I would do some coke and my kids would wake up in the middle of the night. And I'd be like, oh, crap, man. Like, don't look into my eyes, you know. And I'm just being honest, y'all. You know, drug addiction, drug addiction is a very uh, bad thing, a very real thing and a problem in our country. So, you know, if you can overcome, just know, you know, even if you can't, you can reach out to people like me because I've been there. I've done that. I know what it's like going through those downfalls and those pits. Now, granted, you know, that's from years and years ago. Um, but in the same breath, I had to put it in there because I was like, you know what, even though I'm feeling really good on my edibles, I still want to kind of tell a little bit of a story of the background of my life. And with Dulé, never have heard any of my music or my sound. I was like, this might be perfect for him. So, you know, it was more like of a testimonial, but still I'm in my psychedelic state. So it's like you, you get the best of both worlds. And by the way, you know, I did rip right out of a Dr. Seuss book on the second <laughs> verse. I promise you I did. Look, one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. I opened it up and I'm like, you know what? This needs a true stoner's feel, right? I was like, it needs a stoner's feel. Who better than Dr. Seuss? Y'all know that man was smoking. Don't play. Chilling it with some Dr. Seuss. Him and I <laughs> share the same birthday. And I what? swear no one has inspired uh, artists to write more than Dr. Seuss. Books. You ain't lying. Okay. And, and Dr. Seuss started it all, you know, um, not only with the way that he rhymes, but the stories, you know, it's, it's yeah. totally funny to think he actually didn't like kids. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. But yet he was still such an excellent poet and he was so great with the wordplay. I mean, and that's why I said, you know what? Uh, look, see daddy mode. You grab another one of those, you won't have some problems. I just but. bought my daughter a mask that has Dr. Seuss on it from the, the cat in the hat on it. Yeah. And it says something about, um, I will cover my face and I'll social distance and things like that. But it's all like in the Dr. Seuss nursery rhyme. I'll have to show nice. later oh, on wow. on the show. <laughs> That's awesome. So, yeah, but you know what? That, that was definitely mind blown. And with it being our first project together, I thought it came out amazing and that's why we've done so many more since oh, that's yep, beautiful. Yep. and that's something i love about you t-bone is your rawness your truth you tell yeah, it how it know. is you don't hide from it you yeah show i you, mean and that's the, beautiful and, and i appreciate that at the end of the day as artists you know the one thing we we have to understand as artists is that people are going to relate to true self-expression OK, it, I'm not and this ain't no diss to anybody, but it's like, dude, it, it's one thing to just put bars together. It, it's one thing to say, you know, my mind's built be the cheese gold and all this other. OK, that's great. But what's going to be truly relatable is when I put on my headphones and I'm able to jump into Angie's shoes, I'm able to jump into Dulé Chill shoes when I can literally jump into your shoes like, dude, by the way. Your testimonials of your rapping style that you've been doing lately, phenomenal. Y'all need to go check his page. Y'all need to go check. Man, you have got to check out <laughs> the way Dulé raps because he actually has substance in everything that he is saying. So, um, you know, and that's the type of stuff that draws me as an artist. I always want to give you just the full version of me. Now, how you take that, you can say, oh, well, you ain't this or you ain't that, or maybe you're not hot. And I'm like, cool. And I'm going to still do what I do. It ain't hurting my feelings. So anyway, thank you. And the beautiful thank thing you. about your stories is that maybe someday someone is going to listen to that and you're going to teach them a lesson. Amen. Well, actually, maybe they're going to be listening and saying, this is exactly what I need to hear right now. 
Yeah, you know, it's actually for my kids. You know, you know why there's such a raw truth in everything I spit because, you know, so many people want to tell a one-sided version of who you are. You know, everybody knows more about you than you. Well, this is a way for my children to be like, you know what? Maybe my dad wasn't this. Maybe he wasn't that. But he admits to me through his music that he was this, he was that. And though he's ashamed of it, he learned from it and grew from it. So, you know, there's absolutely a, a deep personal meaning behind everything. Hey, Justin, give me chills again. <laughs> I know. I know. Me, me too. <laughs> yeah. How about the song Travel With Me? <laughs> Dude, come with me. on, bro. How did you get that beat, bro? Yes. How did I get that one? That one Ooh. actually came from, uh, do you remember the movie Flight of the Navigator from the 80s? Oh, my goodness, yes. Yes. So I was watching that, and I uh, just wanted to have, like, a flight travel, not to travel, you know, like, flying through the clouds kind of thing, uh -huh. like they did in Flight of the Navigator. And uh, I, tr I tried to pull it off with the different sounds to make it seem like it was progressing a little bit. Uh, but it's really not. It's just loop. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh. A couple moments that were cloudy, way too drowsy, you're so lousy How you found me, found out everything about me, didn't trip on none of it Even when I plummeted, you were like Michelin Guess you really in the wind, but I chase after the wind Again, again and again You continue to forgive Again, again and again We can go where your imagination recommends This time I'm all in, smooth sailing's Captain Tim True. Got the wheel, how you feel, don't worry about the turbulence nah. Rolling voyage for enjoyment would you like to take a hit? Yeah. Got a one-way ticket and I'd like you to attend Please don't leave me guessing, been stressing about this rent No need to pretend, problems keep on pouring right in now. But I swear when I'm with you, what? I can sober again hey. Before we go on a bit, consider the alternative yes. Ride my wave like a trim, but this one will never end you I no. would love to travel to every galaxy So pack a how about you and me? I once was truly lost, but now finally free. I'm guessed up. Ride with me to eternity. The stars are ours. Take your time and ponder what we'll see. You and me, yeah. don't you think or believe that's something we both need? Really? All this grief, need more leaves, roll the key hey. Need our kids all at peace yeah. Need some cream for our peach Need some water for our tree oh. Maybe a different scenery You know it's just the little things How about it, what you think? Tell me. Don't make up your mind Unless you ready to unwind Thanks. That swisher and that wine Ain't gonna be there all the time And we running out of time Swear we grinding all the time we are. Even the passerby sees the pain in both our eyes Ouch. But they don't see the beauty How we do it Oh so soothing while our past left in ruins <sighs> Future got a shoe in. So the truth is, we both cray cray May day. Going down. Even though we crash and it's still a great day. Life is abbreviated Facts. with many complications, but with careful preparation, I begin the aviation. You know? I would love to travel to every galaxy. So pack a lunch, baby. How about you and me? I once was. But now finally free, I'm guessed up Ride with me to eternity Stars are ours Well, like The Navigator was actually one of my favorite movies Me too um, Back in the 90s, <laughs> yeah Oh goodness, so that and Stand By Me And, and things oh, you know, of that sort Just Stand By classics. Me is the best Yes, you, you know, especially when he gets up and you know it's he starts throwing up and yeah. everybody else starts throwing up like his story. The, yes, the we, yes, I love the creativity of the writer behind that, and I love this song and the creativity behind both of it. Yay. Awesome.
<laughs> Tell me about those lyrics. On the on the lyric side, it's just a, a straight up tribute to my wife. Uh, somebody I don't deserve. Uh, in all honesty, she's um, such an amazing person. And in the beginning of our relationship, I had a lot of trust issues because of what my ex had, ex wife had put me through. So. Um, you know, when we first got together, things were a little bit rocky. She started finding out about, you know, my drug addiction. She started finding out, you know, how I'm fighting through hell and hot water, trying to get my kids back and going through all these different things and in these emotions. And somehow she traveled with me through some of the deepest, darkest points in my life. And I mean, she got a whole degree, y'all. She got a whole degree. So I'm like, you can literally go out there and get any cat you want. You got your own, you're doing your own thing. But for some reason, um, I feel like it was definitely the doing of the Lord that she she just, she stayed by me. She, she had a strength that was just unbelievably um, amazing. It really was. It was so... Cool. I said, you know what, now that I'm in a better state and I have been for several years, all praises, um, I've been in a way better state for many years. And I'm like, you know what, you travel with me through my darkest. Let let me grab you so we could travel through the light, you know, so that way we can go see just anything in the way that Dulé's style was behind that beat. I was like, eh, I don't want to just travel cross country. I don't want to just travel to Europe or, you know, go to the motherland. I mean, even though I would love to see both places. Yeah, I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm like, let's just let's just go to the universe. Let's just go throughout, you know, go see some the Milky Way from a distance. Like I, I started thinking more. It's funny because I thought of it on a psychedelic love story kind of swag. But I was completely sober when I made it. So it was like, these were truly my emotions. I'm like, no, pack a lunch, girl. We're, <laughs> we're going to travel to every galaxy. You better pack a lunch because here we go. You know, and then obviously the verses are just me talking about our life. How, you know, I'm telling my wife that Swisher and that wine's not going to be there all the time, you know. And I'm like, we're running out of time. And then I'm a truck driver, so I'm always grinding. And I'm like, we're grinding all the time. And, you know, like, it, it, I don't know, man. Just the, yeah. the wordplay in there was also dope. Because at the end, for you to say that you got this from a flight movie, yeah. I said, uh, I said, <laughs> life is abbreviated with many complications. But with careful preparation, I'll begin the aviation, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and it, so, it, I mean, it just fit perfect. That's perfect. That's travel with me, y'all. Yeah, for my wife. Love you, baby. <laughs> As I said, the beautiful pictures that Dulé paints, you know, um, so this point in time with this song, he had the sky out there. He had all the stars and the planets and you took flight and visited every single one of them with your wife. Absolutely Thank beautiful. You. There's yeah. that swing set and the sunset and the moon and like, ooh, yeah, yeah, gosh. very nice. <laughs> yeah. How about water flowing? Oh, man. So water flowing, honestly, I don't even really remember making that one Was that it much. Um, it could have been. I live in Florida. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, honest. Very possibility. I, feel that. I vaguely remember it. I do remember uh, listening to it afterwards and be like, oh, this is kind of dope. And I just put it out there. Um, yeah, I think that came from just maybe I was smoking a little too much cannabis at the time. <laughs> Sometimes that happens, but <laughs> I know I love it too. That is awesome. That is awesome. Oh man! <laughs> now I have to know where However, you got those okay. lyrics. <laughs> Can I interject okay, so. really quick? Absolutely. Yeah. Sorry, I do want to say that "Water Flowing" is probably one of my favorite songs on this album. Aww. Thank you. Thank so, you. And that's even more yeah. beautiful that you don't remember making it. So it was yeah. total magic. Yeah, I know. Yeah, total right. magic. I was like, man, did I help make that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is it's priceless, actually come bro. for me. <laughs> yeah. Holding on to 
golden moments Truly think I spent my tokens on a bunch of petty showmen Steady pace, but it ain't slowing On the moon, viewing oceans, looky here I got the potion, looky there I bust it open, come and sip this water flowing Holding on the broken moments, truly think I spent Tokens on a bunch of bitches hoeing slow the pace but kept it going On the stars gazing oceans looky hear what I've been token looky there the smoke so rolling come and sip this water flow No yellow brick road yeah me mom made it home Done spent a lot on zones trying to remain in my zone Had so many gifts but was accident prone Walk through the door with a twilight zone with like four wise clothes in my eyesight Gone. Spirit wake up and turn the flashlight on Ooh, yeah. Growing up things pop, kept a nightlight on Got out caked up but can't put ice in now uh, uh, Holding on the broken moments Truly think I spent my tokens oh, on a bunch of bitches Hoeing slow the pace but kept it going On the stars gazing oceans looky Looky there, the smoke's a rolling Come and sip this water flowing Going down, but never beat around the bush no, Nope, sir. not like a bush At least I did what it I took did. Residue to soot Calluses were the roots on each foot Bro was in the field, bossing up like shug I was just misunderstood in my hood Try to be good, but I had a pound of that good Had me feeling good in them hand-me-down hoes Still took a second look, I wasn't regular That's overstood Can't look in my past, then the flesh is poof Proof in the pudding, never been a goof Never been so spooked Till I heard a do 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 Thinking what he do To desert a two Can't pretend my heart ain't stopped Lay it down next morning Crosses on the block Thought I made it out Switching routes Hearing shouts Drown them out Thought it cooled down Then I heard another set of rounds Down Holding on to golden moments Truly think I spent my tokens On a bunch of petty showmen Steady pace, but it ain't slowing On the moon, viewing oceans Looky here, I got the potion Looky there, I bust it open Come and sip this water flowing So water flowing with with the way that he had hit it, uh, that that was another one where it was like you know what I wanted the chorus to kind of just harmonize with how the beat was flowing, and I was like you know what with uh, stuff that happened in like Flint, Michigan and whatnot where they couldn't drink the water and and these devastating things that were going on. Well, you know I live in the hood and a lot of the times we get a boil water notice and whatnot. So I was like, you know what, with the way things are going in my life and how it's just been this up and down roller coaster, sometimes, I mean, it's a waterfall, but sometimes it's just a stream. Most of the times it's a rip current. You know? <laughs> so I was like, you know what, come and sip this water flowing, come in, come in and get a glimpse of what I have to go through on the day to day basis. It's like, you know, I spent a lot on zones trying to remain in my zone. You know, my mom made it home and her name was Dorothy. So that was actually a play on some Wizards of Oz, you know, where I was like, no yellow brick road, but my mom made it home. Her name's Dorothy. So if y'all are wondering, you know, that's why I said it like that. Um, but it's like, I just wanted you to truly take, it's funny because the, the previous track is travel with me, telling my wife to travel with me. Water flowing, I want you to take a sip of water and now you travel with me. And so, get a glimpse of a little bit of that darker side. So don't so. go chasing waterfalls, actually enjoy the waterfall. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, no. <laughs> if anything, if you ever want to know what it's like to be, you know, in, in my shoes, come and sip this water flowing. Because here it is. You know, I spent uh, a lot of time back in the day where I helped a bunch of people, even though I was broke and they were broke, I, I somehow found a way to still help them. And I realized at the end of the day, they started getting on their feet and, the, and I didn't feel no ill will when they left me. I didn't care about that. What I was really hurt by was the fact that they started acting like, Oh, 
And I was like, really, bro? So y'all just some petty showmen. That's what y'all are, you know? And then obviously the bitches hoeing part, y'all already know what that is. And, and you notice how I said with the first vert or the first course, I say, you know, steady pace, but it ain't slowing. So I'm letting my, I'm letting the so-called bros know who were hoeing me, bro, I'm still going. But then when the bitches started hoeing me, that slowed the pace, but kept it going, right? Because they, they're always going <laughs> to yep. hurt you just a little bit deeper. Okay. So Vice versa, it, too. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it really is. It really <laughs> is. You know, for some reason, you know, we don't have a problem when the same gender fucks us over. We're just like, yeah, hey, whatever, bro. But yeah, let it be the opposite sex. And it's yeah. like, oh, that stung a little bit. You know, <laughs> like you found a way to let Ouch. my guard down. Mm -hmm. So. So that's what water flowing is. It's taking you on a little more of a darker journey. And if you notice the first half of this EP, I wanted it to kind of be that uplifting and, and just that kind of what the club scene would look like when you first go in and you're having a great time. And off water to flowing. Flight. Exactly. <laughs> so water flowing actually helps to bring the album, the rest of the EP back down into that darker side because this is what happens monday morning after the club and after you wake back up to reality and you start seeing all the shit that's going on in your life and going on around you and it really makes you self-analyze so this water flowing is actually where the ep starts going a little bit further down and way more personal so just putting that out there i love it oh yeah i love it all right, we're going to go ahead and ask about the good fight. Yeah, Dulé, how did you get that beat, bro? Like, yeah. wow, this, that was beat. I have yes. to ask really quick because it's been a morning. Which one was the good fight? Was that the one with your wife? No, that's the last one. That's the last okay. one. The good fight Should I play? Uh, was the please forgive me. Oh, please forgive yeah. me. I'm fighting yeah. the good fight. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> excuse me that beat uh that was simply just came from uh every morning when i get up i try to wake up like as early as possible before i actually am supposed to be up and i have a little ritual and uh i get at my computer early in the morning and just to get my creativity going i just start working on a beat and uh, it'll take me usually about two hours to go through all everything i need to go through to start putting this beat together and usually early morning just happens to be my best time and wow. uh, now you know when to check from... his pieces t you check him <laughs> in the morning you yep. get there first oh yeah <laughs> first oh, thing yeah. usually by like nine or ten o'clock in the morning that's when i'm starting to post my beat from that morning but yeah it's uh it came from just one of those creative work sessions i made it and i was practicing a little bit trying to elevate my game um, working with 808s for the first time, I think. And yeah. I didn't really think I did as good as T-Bone said, but he thinks it sounds dope, so. <laughs> Please forgive me I've been fighting Another home I wasn't ready for wasn't. Acting like this globe my home Being petty though petty. No light bulb nope. Sitting over this dome Man. Caught a hundred times Can't right my wrongs In a self witness Many wicked visuals Only able to confess them In small intervals A fool could hold his tongue mm -hmm. And pass for wise Must have wrote a thousand lines Only one of them lied Almost cost my dad his life True. I was broken inside Child services Try to take us across Them lines Empty bitch bottles i can no longer hide babies making babies puffed up with pride no father figure there so i was trying to be just a blind leading a blind walking hopelessly a lot of dark forces were controlling me but you took a hold of me wouldn't let go of me lord Couldn't 
and see with four eyes, no lie. True. Tried and yet failed, but still try, no lie. Mm. Easy to fall short and easy to give up. These chains on my head made it hard to look up. Lord. Beating and broken, yeah, you continue to mow me. Losing so many loved ones, family and homies, low key. What? I've been losing my mind. Hold up. Hoping that it's something you can find before I resign. My kids over here thinking, Daddy, all that little do they know how many times I fell flat. Ever took a swing at a demon but couldn't see him. Got the power but can't reach him. Surrounded by many leeches feasting on my being. You killed him and redeemed me. As I put on gloves again, you crowning king me. Please forgive me, I've been fighting the good fight. Seems like my whole life. I love well, it too. what it what it kind of reminded me of the beat had reminded me of like like 80s 90s like inspirational like infusion of R&B and pop so yeah. it, it definitely gave me that kind of feel where I knew I could go deep with it because you know when you hit that doom Dum, 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 <laughs> dum, 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 dum. I was like, man, this is like Rocky Balboa coming back to fight <laughs> Apollo for the second time. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, like they just that kind of it wasn't a beat instrumental where it's like, yeah, I'm exercising and all that. But it it, it, it kind of put me in that field of where I'm in a dark alley and I don't know where I am, but I see that the sun's rising. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, it's not like it's 1 a.m. It's like, no, it's like 5.30 and I know I'm starting to see the light. Let me get out of this alleyway kind of swag, you know, like that's what my it's going to be a good me. morning and a good fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Real talk, real talk. I love it. So, I love it. Yeah, I mean, you may have, you, if that was your, your first experimentation with the, the 808s, I mean, me personally being in Texas, we like we like them made a waste of shit. <laughs> we have some speakers, man. We're just like just break them. We don't give a damn. We'll go buy more, you know. <laughs> but in the same breath, bro, it still hit hard enough to where it sounds good in the radio, but it's not so overpowering that you can't hear what I'm saying because that one, as y'all can tell with the lyrics, I had to actually go really deep really deep a lot of i lost a lot of family members last year uh a few of them to covid a uh, few to cancer uh, i had one commit suicide um i had one almost take his own life and it was just like and i'm and it seemed like i was getting these phone calls back to back i went like two weeks without eating i was just in a huge state of depression and the crazy thing is is i was working in the medical field um because the trucking industry had kind of slowed down when the pandemic started. So it was like, I was literally like, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at my situation and, but I'm also realizing my youth because I'm seeing so many others that were in way worse positions than I was because I was hauling patients from dialysis, nursing homes, uh, discharges from hospitals. So, I mean, I was dealing with people who had way worse issues than anything that I was dealing with. And so as I'm over here and it seemed like I was going through a fasting period and a mourning period, I also had to remember that God was watching over me through this time and seeing me through it because I, I felt like, I felt like I just took my gloves off. I felt like I took them off. I set them down. I said, you know what? I don't want to fight anymore because I've been completely sober. So it's not like, I'm just running to drugs like I used to. Now I'm dealing with all these life situations and the right mind frame and yet still feeling so weak and so shattered. I mean, back in the day, I grabbed some Paul or I grabbed some Henny. You know what I'm saying? I smoked me a little square and, and I'm straight. But it's like, how do you cope with the death of loved ones? How do you cope knowing that people that are so dear to you are so ill and still maintain handling everyday responsibilities. It seems impossible. And then on top of that, I'm still being a dad. So my kids don't know why there's tears rolling down my face and, and whatnot. And so it's like, I say, you know what? Please forgive me. I thought, I thought I was strong. I thought I was ready to handle this. I mean, I'm able to fight each and every day in the hood, but for some reason, something like this is, is like stabbing my soul, it seems. So I was like, you know what? 
I say, yeah. And and like I said, the way Dulé's beat laid out, it was the sunrise in the alleyway. So it was like it was giving me that beacon of hope. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to write about you, what's really on. going on. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'm going to write about some deep things that are really going on in my life. But right at the end, I'm like, you know what? Forgive me. I've been fighting a good fight. And then I reminisced for a minute and I said, seems like my whole life. I was like, you know what? Let me just, <laughs> it just seems that way. Because, I mean, every time I turn around, I'm putting the gloves back on. and I'm stepping in the ring to fight a new opponent, whatever that opponent may be. So, yeah, great stuff, Dulé. It might have been a, a, an experiment for you. But to me, it was something that really hit home. Something that really hit home. Great job, bro. Appreciate you, bro. Oh, you just yeah. made me cry. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, hey, I'm just no, keeping it, was it real. Beautiful. Yeah. It was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it was very healing. Yeah. Sometimes yep. one's pain can heal yes. another. So yes. Oh. And that's beautiful that you made it, you made you changed T Bones world you know and that's that's, that's the most beautiful thing in the world that your beats and you know t-bone's lyrics and his truth and things like that you know <laughs> it changes worlds you know and and that's absolutely the most beautiful thing to me because if you can change someone's world for the better and spit some positivity out your butt you know what i mean and sprinkle it all over like glitter and and streamers and and beautiful <laughs> you know, stories that can change worlds and, and, you know, make someone see life in a different way. That is the best thing like ever. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. And, and that's why, that's why I call, you know, your beats canvases. If you ever notice, I'm <laughs> like, I'm like, bro, nice canvas, because that's what it is, bro. Like you are yeah. literally, you are giving a canvas for us as the, the, the poeters as the artists and writers to paint on. So you're like, here's the canvas, Bob Ross it up. And I'm like, I got you, bro. See? I got you, bro. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, it, it's funny because Bob Ross is such a big inspiration uh, to me. I, I, I love taking his concept of how he paints and actually putting that to music. So it's like, when I hear your beats, I feel like, a lot of the times you've already set the stage. You've already added the colors. You know what I'm saying? You've already put the colors on. You've already got it nice, wet, and prepped. And then I just go in with a paintbrush and I just basically form the images from there. He and makes so, the swing sets <laughs> and he makes the sandbox. <laughs> Boy, there's some dirty ass sandboxes. But <laughs> <laughs> well, you're creating this so it can be the cleanest sandbox in the world. <laughs> yeah, Except know, for a little bit in the corner, you know. You know yeah, there's grass right. in there from the, the guy who does the lawn in the weeds. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Give them something to do. Yep, yep. <laughs> Thank you. Good job. <laughs> that's a leaf it's a green Dad leaf mode. yeah to get you a cape <laughs> i'm telling you right it, and the sad part is i actually already have several of them so yes. it was easy to, <laughs> to put the cape on deck actually maybe i'll post it in band lab one day but for christmas my boys got a bunch of capes and uh masks oh. And so we all dressed up in our superhero costumes <laughs> and took a picture on christmas morning yeah Nice. So it was like, well, yeah, Halloween, who needs it? We could do this any day, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. I have to ask about the pain, the song, The Pain. Okay. Like, what were you going through when you wrote this? The beat? Pain. So the original title of The Pain was TLB, and that's my wife's initials. So I set out to make, I had a couple of things in mind when I joined Band Lab was I want to learn how to make beats decent enough that I can teach my kids. And then I want to make a song, you know, for my kids and my wife. And uh, that was my, my step into doing that was originally creating a beat for my wife. Uh, just something kind of upbeat ish, uh, something that, you know, we could get moving around to, we could uh, walk or, you know, ride the bikes or something. And uh, set out with that as my main goal in mind. Turned out pretty good. She loved it. Put it on Band Lab so that people could have it. And uh, 
I think he got looked over a few times, and then uh, Tim here listened to it, and he actually surprised me with it. Yeah, uh, he yeah. ended up having his wife on it, which made it just mean even that much more to me. Right. I'm begging and pleading over Lee season for so many reasons. Hoping my kids believe me when I tell them I strive. Tired of size, continue to fry. The brand is divided inside. Saw the signs with no reason to rhyme. Couldn't read minds, but at least I changed. Okay, mine. hypocrisy borderline. What it took to fix over time. All you saw was that other guy. Born again and he died. Lied to me more than twice. All the strife. Another one shy. What a night, what a night. Who'd have thought I'd transform overnight? No foresight. You never intended to let me see him. As I hear how you treat him. Only when you see me, then act like everything peachy. How deceitful. Try to change their last name. How the fuck you the one cast in blame? Put the drink cause I knew you throw salt on my name. May have changed so Tim. Remember your Christian. But it's hard to scar so far That I'm just not ready for Glad that I let you go Now the smoke clears And the truth be told It shall unfold When it does I just hope you grow We never felt the way That I have felt But so Only strong babies Here daddy comes Thank you bro Yeah, yeah thank yeah. you You know I definitely didn't Take that approach uh, <laughs> but it was definitely a magic moment because if yes. it was originally meant for his wife and then you and your wife did that piece that's that's even more magic so i can totally <laughs> like feel dule here yeah yeah dule. it was uh it was one of those when i had heard it i was i was actually going through a lot man and, and the way that it was hidden was a way I haven't heard anybody on BandLab uh, rip it. If you notice, I had to change my entire rhyme scheme just to make it fit because uh, I wrote it and then I ran it. And I'm like, nah, that ain't going to work. I was like, that ain't going to work. So then I tried to wrap it fast and I was like, damn, that ain't going to work. But it was so unique. And I was like, you know what? No, this has to be painted. This has to be painted. So that's why, you know, halfway through, I'm, I just kind of harmonize for a minute and then I come back in with the rap and then I harmonize. Then we hit the chorus. Then, you know, so and, and I did all those change ups purposefully because I realized that the way you had made that beat was just so unique, bro. Like in, in all honesty, of all the beats I've heard, that one was the most unique piece I think I have heard you create because of how the switch ups hit in the beat but yet it's not offbeat, right? So it's like, there's so many switch ups, but it's like, dude, you did the change ups masterfully, bro. Masterfully. Thank you, bro. Yeah. So the pain, uh, the lyrics are actually, um, it's kind of towards my ex-wife because I haven't been able to see my children in nine years and I've done nothing uh, to my children, but speak good about her. And, you know, every time we talked on the phone, I always tell them, you know, honor your father and mother, you know, that's that that's your mom and you need to listen to what she knows what's best for you. This is that. Well, I find out recently that my daughter's been going through hell um, and unfortunately, she's been bad mouthing me for all these years and saying all the things that I am. And I was like, huh. So every year here I was and I was finding out more and more. And what was messed up is that the whole time she's telling me a different story. She's telling me an entirely different story. Um, she's also promising to let me see my children that following year. And this case is very sensitive. This isn't something where I could just 
go get any Tom, Dick and Harry attorney. They live on the reservation. So with them living on the reservation, um, they have federal immunity. So a lot of lawyers want a $10,000, $15,000 retainer fee just to begin looking into the case, which, I mean, who has 15 grand laying around? If you got it, cash at me. Uh, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so no, I'm just playing. But like on a serious note, you know, I finally I decided to air out a little bit of dirty laundry because I'm just like, hey. This is how you want to be after all these years. I ain't been doing nothing good, but talking good on your name and doing my best to uplift you. I mean, hey, I in at the end of the day, the reason why my wife is on it is because she knows the pain that I was going through. All those tears I was crying, I was doing it on her shoulders because here we were getting apartments that were bigger than what we needed because we thought I was going to get my kids. And at the time we didn't even know if we could have children. Um, so it was, you know, it was just a lot of pain that was going on because she's over here seeing her, her husband not being able to see his kids. And then here we are thinking that she couldn't have them at the time. So it was like, there was several years of just, a lot of tears being shed and a lot of hurt because you watch the Maury show and you see guys who are like, that ain't my baby. Da, 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 da. She can go do this and she can go. And then they find out that they're the father and they're still in denial. And they're like, Oh, nah, Oh, nah, nah. I don't believe in Maury. And I'm over here like, bro, here I am fighting so damn hard to make sure that my children don't forget who they awesome dad is. Need I mind y'all, by the way, I didn't fall into addiction until after my children were on the reservation. So y'all don't sit here and think that, oh, okay, he was just doing all this in front of his kids. No, I was doing what I had to do out there as a man. But when I stepped inside of my house, I was a father. So, and that's something can nobody take away from me. Maybe I wasn't the best husband the first time around, but you ain't about to say I wasn't a good dad. And you could take that to the bank, baby. And that's uh, that's what the pain was all about. And my wife, when she heard it, she was like, oh, my God, baby, this is amazing. Like I said, hey, sing on it with me. And she, you know, she was in choir. Uh, so she knows how to actually read sheet music and all that jazz. And I'm like, baby, we ain't doing no sheet music. I'm going to need you to just hit these notes right here, here and here. You know? And um. Uh, she did. She did an amazing job bringing what I was saying to life, because as y'all may know by now, I can't sing, but I'm going to keep doing it. So I will. <laughs> I love so, your singing, actually. I love when well, you sing, because when you can't say it, you sing it. And, you know, whether you're singing it or rapping it, your voice, like you tell truth and story. And I just always want to hear more. Amen. Well, thank you all. Yeah. Thank y'all. I'm glad I got one singing fan because I tell you <laughs> what, man, I get to sing it. Like my daughter will be like, sing to me, dad. I'm like, all right, baby girl. And then I'll, I'll hit a note and she'll be like, just stop, dad. And I'll be like, all right. You got it, yeah. <laughs> there ain't no Marvin Gaye here, baby. I'm sorry. Okay. No, 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 no temptations. This is just good old T-bone. Cat falling down a drain pipe. Let's go. <laughs> I love it and I love this album and I thank you both for sharing it with me and sharing your beautiful art and your talents with me as well thank you very much absolutely yeah, thanks for spreading the love Angie like for real for real um, you know we need more like you out there we need more like Tony we need more doulas out there we need people <laughs> who are just not afraid to just go out here and be themselves. I feel like so many people put so much pressure on trying to sell and advertise something that they lose sight of who they truly are. Man, don't do that, y'all. Stay true to yourself. Uh, there's a song by Drake and Jay-Z called Pound Cake on Nothing Was The Same. And at the very beginning, on the intro, um, there's a legend on there. I can't remember his name. Um, but he says only real music's going to last. All that other bullshit is here today and gone tomorrow. 
So take heed to that. Real music, real authenticity, who you are as a person. You want to know why J. Cole so successful? You want to know why Kendrick Lamar so successful? Why are the Imagine Dragons so successful? Why was Stevie Ray so successful? These artists stayed true to who they were. And that's what you've got to do. You stay true to who you are, you're going to last. And I, I promise you that. I agree 100%. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love that. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm going to cut this piece out real quick. I'm going to tell you something. I am not the Maury show, but my last name is Maury. Funny. It's spelled <laughs> M-O, not M-A-U. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Keep, keep all that. You can go ahead and keep that. Yeah, just a little side piece, right? Yeah. <laughs> I would just share that with you, but I don't like to share my actual like stuff. You know what I mean? Out there, like that's good stuff. But I wanted to share that with you. And my audio went. But y'all see my last name on the damn screen, so I'm screwed. (laughs) (laughs) Oh man! Yeah, I'm definitely not Springer. (laughs) (laughs) However, I don't I I don't know what happened on the sewer last night, so that could have turned into a Springer episode. Yeah, buddy. You never know. Yeah. Well, I thank you both um, for, you know, going ahead and giving this great interview and sharing your music and your art with me. I'm truly blessed. Thank you. Yeah, Yeah, you're welcome. It's been a pleasure to finally be on your show. Uh, Anytime, Dulé. Anytime. You're always welcome.